go. All right, we are back with a new deck. I have not seen anyone trying to do this yet, but we have Azorius Annoying Enchantments. The idea for the deck was actually based around the plan of using the new spell that bounces all the permanents except one to your hand and then replaying them, getting value out of our enchantments. But that card has since been cut because uh, it's not good all the time, and so we're left with what's left here, and it seems to be doing a good job as I've been able to cruise into the gold bracket and uh, have some fun games. So, here we have Azorius Annoying Enchantments. So our enchantments are ways to uh, slow down your opponent until you can take over the game. So we have Detention Vortex. Stops a non-land permanent until your opponent uh, pays three to destroy it as a sorcery. Circle of Confinement, a way to get rid of those early creatures. We also have Monk Class, which helps your spells cost less, and it also helps uh, bounce a permanent either of your control or your opponent's control back to the hand so you can reset your uh, enchantments if needed or you can slow down your opponent as well. Also borrowed time, enchantment removal for most uh, non-land permanents. We also have Doom Scar, which I think is a great card to be playing um, against most decks that run creatures. And our creatures that we have come back as enchantments as well, but we'll get into that in a little bit here. Also trying 1x Mordenkainen as an additional uh, win condition slash threat for threat diversity. So going back to our creatures, we have our two drops which is the Drug Skull Infantry, a 2-2 two, two for 2, which is pretty unexciting, and then it can come back to give something else plus 2, plus 2. Uh, Mischievous Cat Geist is a way to uh, start drawing cards if there's no one in its path, and can also come back as an enchantment to uh, draw cards as well. The heaviest hitter by far is Catilda, Dawnheart Martyr. So it is a flying lifelink protection from vampires, and it's as big as the number of spirits and enchantments that you have. And then when it dies, it can come back giving the same effect to a different creature. Uh, so this can be pretty quick, lights out, gain you lots of life. Um, and it flies as well, so uh, good times, especially if you can enchant oneself onto itself. Uh, failed to mention, also the whole deck revolves around uh, casting and resolving a Hallowed Haunting. So, uh, for a drop, as long as you control seven or more enchantments, creatures you control have flying and vigilance, which uh, that is something that can easily happen. But the kicker uh, is when you cast an enchantment spell, you get a spirit cleric, and that spirit cleric is as big as the number of spirits you control. So once this comes out, most of the spells that you cast will be generating you a spirit cleric, and so they can get really big really quick. Uh, mana base is pretty self-explanatory, blue and white, and all the non-basics that fit that description. Might consider adding a man land, um, such as the blue one that is 7-7 seven, seven and big and has ward. Haven't done that yet. Field of Ruin, because uh, man lands are a thing, and so it's good to have some type of answer to them. So that's the main board for Azorius Annoying Enchantments. It seems to be doing pretty well, uh, better than I thought it would. And uh, it's been a lot of fun to just play and see what happens. Moving to the sideboard, we have more enchantments. So we have Curse of Silence as a way to uh, 
lock your opponent, or not lock, but uh, slow down your opponent as well. So we can name their Hullbreaker Horror to make it a 9-drop, name a Goldspan Dragon, or Epiphany to make those uh, big swingy spells cost more and give you more time to uh, finish things out. Lantern of the Lost against Graveyard Shenanigans. Disdainful Stroke as a way to hit those uh, top-heavy finishing spells as well. Uh, Test of Talents against Control to a lot just uh, slow them down and uh, get rid of their uh, good spells. Also against Control, Faithbound Judge as a alternate win condition. Minimus Containment as another enchantment that triggers your uh, Hallowed Haunting. Redain God of the Worthy. Uh, pretty good against snow focused decks because it slows them down, makes their good spells cost more. And then the flip side, Shield is also pretty good um, at slowing your opponents down as well. Lastly, Mirror Hall Mimic, something I am trying to uh, see if either you can copy something of your opponents or you can copy one of your creatures. Uh, Giving it a whirl, not sure what else uh, I want to do with the sideboard, but uh, that's where we're at right now. So maybe uh, you have some ideas for me, uh, or you've played against it, or you are playing it. would love to know how things are going, but that is where we're at right now. Thanks for watching.